Tonight, the story of a young man whose crimes are being compared to a 1980s movie where the student is a teenager who gets on a computer and eventually ends up creating a problem for the entire world. As First News reporter Jerry Ricciuti tells us, both of there was a, in a situation in court today where the judge sent a message as well. Unlike most young men his age, David Dorvish spent almost all of the 17th year of his life behind bars. As of today, Your Honor, today would actually be 365 days served. Dorvish, who's from Youngstown's east side, was arrested when he was just 16, accused of using his home computer to make terroristic threats against half a dozen communities in five states, which then prompted massive police and fire department responses. It's something known in internet circles as swatting. I don't know what the goal is other than to show that you're smarter than the next guy or that you can do something based upon that. Although no one was ever hurt, the incidents cost those communities nearly $13,000. And as part of Dorvish's plea agreement, he'll have to make restitution. What that essentially goes to is uh, costs spent in this, in this matter. Uh, for investigative purposes, for response times, things of that nature. But instead of pressing for up to 20 years in prison for the 27 counts against him, prosecutors recommended just a year behind bars, which he's now already served, and probation. I'd rather have him under your thumb with 20 years over his head, and that's for five years community control. Dorbish's mother tells me the last couple of years have been a nightmare for the family, but time behind bars has matured her son. David being incarcerated has definitely made it a lot harder, <laughs> but the transformation in him is, is almost amazing, really. Local law enforcement hope others will learn from Dorbish's experience. It has uh, caused uh, loss of life by accident in some cer certain situations, uh, and it's just... Uh, it's, it's really wrong, and uh, messages do need to be sent. In Youngstown, Jerry Ricciuti, WKBN 27 First News.